Hey everybody, Ryan again, uh, bringing you another hidden tomb from Tomb Raider. This is the first of the two tombs you'll be able to open um, at Shipwreck Cove. Uh, this one's actually on your way to the Endurance. You can't miss it. Um, and there's actually a bunch of collectibles inside. I actually skipped past the, all the parts where I was exploring the bunker and finding a bunch of collectibles and skipping forward to where you actually find the tomb. It's a very linear trek, don't worry. <laughs> you can't miss it. Uh, once you get inside this little bunker. So, anyways, here we are. It's called the Flooded Vault. And, um, <laughs> I actually looked around here to make sure there weren't more collectibles because there were two relics and a bunch of salvage inside before. So, just wanted to make sure I got everything and there was, was nothing else in here. Facility. So, the first thing you need to do to the is come up here and turn on the power. How is that possible? And in turning on the power, you manage to electrify the water. <laughs> so, next thing you have to do, come back down here, open the door. And now we have to find a way to get across the water without electrocuting ourselves. So, first things first. Use your shotgun to blast that open. Okay. Then you want to come over here to this platform um, and burn the mooring holding it. Okay, now your instinct might be, as mine was, to try to use this platform to move around on, um, and it's actually not for that. <laughs> it's going to become kind of apparent what it's for in just a couple minutes here. But we, what you need to do is get back over here, use your rope arrows. You'll need at least two poles to get it over to where you need it to be. Okay, that's just close enough. Um, you might even want to get it closer with a third pole, but it's up to you. So, jump over to here. See, I just barely made it. <laughs> and then what you do is you use a rope arrow on this uh, sort of pulley type lever here. And that lifts up the electrical object just long enough for you to get across. You, you can't wait. <laughs> um, and so the next thing you need to do is if you haven't guessed it yet oh and forgive me i went in here to just make sure there weren't more collectibles this room is actually just useless <laughs> so there's no collectibles in here um but i was just making sure um and so yeah come back over here and if you hadn't guessed it yet uh what you need to do is use that platform to block the electrical object <laughs> um so pull it up, use the rope arrow to pull that platform over. You can actually pull the platform a couple times without using the rope arrow first, but <laughs> I wasn't smart enough to think of that at the time. So, well, there you have it. Either way, it'll work. <laughs> so um, it'll take two or three pulls to get it all the way over. Um, uh, probably three, no matter what. Um, so... You gotta be quick, but you can get it before the um, electrified object falls, and then you're home free. Um, don't have to worry about getting electrocuted in the water anymore. Okay, so you just head back over here. Looking for collectibles again. <laughs> oh, there's some shotgun ammo there. Because, of course, you need the shotgun to open that one door. So, anyway, um... Then you can safely travel across the water to this staircase. And once you get up here, you have reached the tomb. A storage room. Artifacts from an ancient tomb. What were they looking for? Nice looking stuff here, huh? Okay, so, treasure box, what you got for us this time? It's candy. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's just another treasure map. Probably better than candy, but you know. Okay, and this is another one with an alternate route out. You can just use the zip line to get back down. Save yourself a few seconds. 
and then either upgrade stuff at the camp or just make your way back out. And I'm going to show you the way out because you actually don't need to go exactly back the way you came. There's a convenient little um, door you can shoot out with the shotgun, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So back out the way we came. Okay, and back out into this room. And then there's a convenient way around uh, where you had to climb up before. And there's a little door to shoot out with the shotgun. And then once you do that, you can easily get back to um, getting on your way to the Endurance. So that's it for this one. Hope you guys found this helpful. And I'll see you on the next one. Later.